Last time we left off where we are able to create a to-do item. So we can come here and add a to-do. So to-do one can be anything here. Then of course we can submit. So when we create, we see we, are, we see we are redirected onto the details page with the ID here. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and be able to retrieve all the items we have been creating. So to be able to retrieve those, we're gonna go to our to-do views. So the view here we are looking at is where we want to show them now, which means we want to find a way of getting them from our DB and passing them to our template. So the way we can get those is we're gonna go here. So here we're going to have it does it does variable and then since we are already importing to do now we can use to do to query the, the to do objects so here you can say objects dot all so since we don't we are not implementing authentication yet we will be tweaking this to fit the current the current logged in user but for now this should do so here let's create our context so context is gonna be here we can have to do's and then these are gonna be to do's like this then we pass the context as the third parameter like this Okay, so now if you go to our template, so we're gonna go to templates, to do, index. So over here, before we show a list of to dos, we want to first check if this user has to dos or not. So if the user doesn't have to dos, we want to of course tell them, hey, you ain't got no to dos right now. We want to tell them that they don't have to dos at that point in time. So if we come here, here where we have the H, I'm gonna change this to an H1 actually. Then I'm going to remove this logo because we don't need it. So here we can have, my list of to dos class i'm going to give this i'm going to give this h1 a class of ui header so that it can stand out so here i'll remove this ur so to check if this has more than one item we can come over here we're just gonna do an if so in here you can say if so we want to check to dos so if we say to do's and they are not there, then we want to be able to show something like, you don't have any items yet. So let's have an else and also an end if. So now in here in the if we can show a table. So I'm going to type a table here quickly. So the table is can have a T head of course. Then for the T head, so we'll have a table row and we'll have T headers. So we're gonna have four of those so the first one is gonna say title. So let me duplicate this. The second one is gonna say description. The third one is gonna say completed. Then the fourth one, for now it's gonna be empty. We want to be able to use it for actions. So you can either say actions here. Okay, so now that we have the header, we need to work with the body. So here we can say T body. So inside here, now we need a row. So, so for these rows, we are going to be looping over to do's and showing each of those as a T row. So here we need to do a for loop. So to do a for loop, we want to do, so we want to do for to do in to do's like this. Then we can come here and end for, okay. So here we can show it a row. So TR. So for this, for the first one, we want to show T, T row title so here we can have a td then this is gonna be so to show dynamic content we use this template the template syntax then we say to do the title then let's have description and also it's completed so here you can say description then here we can have is complete I believe it is completed I'm not sure we'll find out then let's save this now if we come back here and refresh we see that we have a table and we have our data. So this is not looking so great here. So what we wanna do is let's just apply a, a style from semantic. So here we can have a class. So it's gonna be UI table. This is how like they name their classes. So UI table, if we refresh, you see that now we have a table. So for the actions, we currently don't have actions, but we want to have a view button and also a, an edit button. So down here, we are going to have another TD. So for this TD, we will have an A, so A. So in here, in this A, we want to show an icon. So we can use the I, the I tag. Then we want to use class. So this one is gonna be the view one. So we can use I class and then icon. Okay, so if we save this and come back here and refresh, you said now we have the eyes here. So we also need to have the, the edit button. 
but this should actually look somehow like a button so for the a i'm going to give it a class so this class is going to be ui button fresh it now you see it looks like the button okay so this is going to be going to the detail page which will be here let's go ahead and create the other one for the edit so here you can have pencil and now you see we have the pencil okay so looking good so now we are able to retrieve the list and we can pass it to our template and we can see it here so whenever we don't have items we want to also show a message like you don't have items right now so here i'm going to have a class a div so this div is going to have a class of ui and also it's going to have a ui another class of message so now in here we can let's have a div so this div is going to have a class of header and uh, here let's say no items yet so down here we can put a helper text to tell them that they can create one so let's say you can create your first to do now so here let's put a link that goes to the to do creation page so you know href is gonna be we use the syntax then we bring in here then we use the url and then the name of that view so the name of the url view the name of the url is create dash to do like this so let's save come over here refresh so right now we already have items so if we want to emulate that we don't have items we can come here and pass an empty list so if you come back again and refresh you see that now we we get this message you don't have items yet you can create all right so looking good so also let's take it back and yeah so also whenever we click here we want to go back to the home page so we want to go to our header and correct it so i'm gonna search for header here then over here this href here should be going to the home so we can say url then the name is gonna be then the name is gonna be let's check the name for our index so in urls it's called home okay so now we can change this to home and save so if you come back here click here let's refresh click here so we get on home we can navigate back and forth so now we are able to see our list one of the things i want to change very quickly is not to use true and false here i just want to use yes and no instead of true and false so for us to be able to change that we can go back to our index page and where we are in the td where we are showing is completed we can quickly do an if statement there so to do an if you already know we want to use this then we want to say if then the condition so we want to be checking for to do dot completed so we can check to do dot completed then then we can say yes that means it was completed of course then let's have an else then let's, let's also end if so inside the td is where we want to end if we need to say no in the else part so when it's yes i also want to show an icon with the check like a tick icon so here we can have an i so i then we need to give it a class so class you guys already know we say it's gonna be check then we need the icon one it's, it should be green so we can pass a class for green and you change that to green so now if you come back here refresh you see that now these are changed so every time we created to do let's go ahead here and create new one latest let's put latest let's just duplicate this and save you see it goes to the detail but when we come here is that it's created and it's on top so if we created one and we completed it by default let's set two here let's duplicate here let's check it and save and come back here we see that it's now on top too so this the ordering of course is being done by our tracking model all right so that's gonna do it for now so in the next one we are gonna come in and add some filters here to filter by completed by and incomplete and all that stuff so thanks guys for watching i will talk to you in the next one